Alright, this is RPG Night 1989 with, well, this isn't my time at Portia. Don't worry, I will be uploading that game as alongside this one. So, I wanted to try something new on the weekend. Something that would kind of give me some, inv you know, be able to like invigorate myself to move forward with new Let's Plays. And I thought of two, well, a few ideas. One of them being actually a Monster Hunter or MMO weekend where I just play an MMO game for about two hours basically three four episodes um but i kind of turned that one down for right now i might go to it if you guys like it or like the idea of it but right now the idea is um i want to do what are, i want to call like a short play like a short let's play or kind of thing something like that now i'm not trying to do this as an insult or anything what I mean by it is, like, either the game is, like, really short and it doesn't take me too many episodes to beat it, or short as in, like, maybe someone saw it and was like, nah, it doesn't look, look like it's that good of a game. And it could have been, like, a hidden gem no one knew about. Now, the company that made this game also made two other games I know about. One is called... Oh, I think it's, like, something with fire. I think it's, like, Death by Fire or something like that. It's a really obscure game. Um, and the other one is actually kind of a sequel, a pre-sequel sequel to this game called The Technomancer. And those are the only two games I know of. So, now we've got this going. I will play through Mars, Warlogs. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm going to play on medium. No, I don't trust myself. And I guess I'll show up a lot of stuff, but... To be fair, I'm kind of playing bad. I'm going to kind of play dirt bad with this game right now. Because it's been a while I since I played. up to my neck in the war before I knew it. Uh, before I saw it coming. And. So. Oh, also, for anyone knowing, no, we are not. This is not being talked about by the, uh, the main protagonist of the game. Yeah, kind of misleading, but. You'll see who's talking. Anyways, I'm gonna let let the game talk about itself and talk about what's going on. I was never much for politics. The never really does. Between the ward guilds was something that didn't concern me. I was a teenager. I'll try and give a brief and overview after problems. this cutscene. So enjoy. I was a pretty carefree kid living a good life. Hmm. My friends and I got together to talk and do nothing most every night. And then one morning, the soldiers came to take me away, me and a lot of other guys from the neighborhood, to defend the guild. I think I was actually proud at first. They gave me a uniform and a gun. <sighs> and then, I understood. Up close, War doesn't make you a hero, it makes you tired. It's nothing more than bloody marches. Blistering days, men stacked up against each other in sweaty trenches, stinking, covered in lice. So exhausted we can't sleep, mm. shaking from the thought of what the next night will bring. The night, infernal marches, tramping through blood and shit. I'll kind of explain. Actually, I don't think the game ever explains this. Like cattle by the Technomancer does because um, I'll give a brief overview. Like Basically, in this game, the sun like is so hot. If you stay, Stupid try to go out during the day the and you're not sheltered, day, you will like either die or... Let's just say the second thing I'll show you will happen. But, yeah. Ugh. But yeah, the sun's like extremely hot, and I think it's like supposed to be like extremely radioactive. It could have gone on like that until I ended up face down in the dirt. But I was one of the lucky ones, mm. captured, and stuck uh. in a wagon full of guys I barely knew. They rounded us up and tossed us in a cattle car, packed in like mutants. Hold on. And sent us far away behind enemy lines. I don't know if it's night or day. I oh, sorry about that. Yeah. 
nothing really mattered to me anymore. Ah, <sighs> sorry. You are now in Camp 19. Ah, okay. If you watch hmm. your step, we will get along sorry. just you fine. You are now in Camp 19. If you blah blah blah, watch your step, blah blah blah. Ah. Sorry, I... They shoved us out, lined us up, and welcomed us to our new home. Ah. <sighs> Keep moving. Oh, great. You're about to meet the sand pit. Mm. I want every one of you clean within the hour. Uh. You will then be taken to the registration office. You will inform them of what you know how to do, and you will be assigned a post and a bunk. Oh. Uh. Get going. Out. A new day. At least we got a chance uh. to clean ourselves up, even if all we had was sand. Hmm. I don't think sand really cleans. No, sand wouldn't really clean. It would hurt a lot. But yeah, basically, that guy is a prisoner of war. You're in a prison camp, and. Well, just when you see this scene, just if you think what is what it is, then yes, you are right. And no, I'm not going to explain it. Uh, also, so, I'll talk more about that once we get to this point. Get a load point. of these fellas. Fresh meat. Uh, uh, it just makes my day. I was getting tired of drilling the same old asses. Hmm. Hey, you're not bad looking either. Get out. Yeah, you got a real pretty mouth. Uh, yes, it's exactly <laughs> what you think it is. Hmm? Huh? What do you want? Can't got your tongue. What are you, special? Is that it? Huh? You a nutcase? Maybe you get off watching. Go take a seat. After all, this is the only entertainment you'll get in here. <laughs> Isn't that right, guys? Uh oh. Uh. <clears throat> hey, you just won't stop yakking, will ya? Spit it out, you got something to say. <sighs> What's that? Speak up. Nobody can understand your squeaking boy. We want to find you. We will. <sighs> this place ain't big enough to hide from us. You crazy. You need to be put down. Mm. <sighs> what are you, insane? You looking for pain? You mental? Fucked in the head? Nah, nah, I don't need this. You're already dead. Sick fuck. Just uh, think about what you're gonna boy. do to this poor bitch. Brings a tear to my eye. I, I just can't watch. I'm sensitive. Mm -hmm. Forget it, guys. This cunt's not normal. I don't want to catch what he's got. The main protagonist. Yep. This is the main protagonist. Not that kid. They kind of subvert your expectations of that. Hey. Uh, thanks. Thanks for the help. Hmm. Uh, it's history. Forget it. Hmm. I wasn't going to just stand here and watch him. What are you doing? Yep. Meet Roy. Yeah. It's hmm. weird. I, I feel better than I have in a while. Thanks again. Uh, that's not the I told you to here. forget it. You still in shock or what? Listen, if you're feeling better, let's get moving. You're an easy mark here. We gotta go. I'm good. I'll follow you. Now, yeah, if you notice the kid's name is Innocence. The colony he came from, each colony, if I remember correctly, has kind of like their own little naming thing. 
His is actually named after virtues. Also, if you see glowing uh, piles of stuff, scavenge them. You want to scavenge everything. Okay, I'm going to have to... Alright, I got to look at the brightness because this... Oh my god, this game... Oh god, the game's not that bright. Oh. I am not dealing with no brightness. I cannot... Uh. Oh, that's just not even better. Seriously. Do I have to go all the way to... Bur I might actually have to do something about that. Okay, I can at least see something. Anyways, any glowing piles, search them, you'll get some items. So there, I got some hardware. Now... Oh, that's yes. the button I wanted to. Oh, come on. All right, so go. yeah, he's gonna. That's the talk button. Oh, there we go. So yeah, if you notice, you got a crafting kit. You can craft injection. Injections are health pack. Are can be health packs or another. So your character has an improvised weapon, and I don't think. Uh, okay, I don't think you... Oh, no, you can't upgrade that one. Okay, so if you notice this torn outfit, the torn prison outfit, if you hit X, you can actually upgrade these things and create some uh, new... Like, you can actually upgrade gear and they can actually give you, like, you know, like more defense or, like, you know, resistance to a certain, like, element... To a certain thing like electrical resistance if you do this like if you do this as well metal is the strongest right now um eventually you'll get some unique items that do actually more but yeah if you need to go, go running around grabbing stuff uh oh, shit. Hey, talk to hey, people if you can you just oh. seem to be spinning your shit. This can't okay, so... Oh, okay, here we go. He is a quest. You can never find these quests unless you actually talk to people. Eh, maybe I can help. busy just now. Can I give you a hand? Looking for something in exchange, I guess? If you can dig up some parts and a wrench, I'll be grateful. So, basically, yeah, he wants some uh, items and stuff. And he'll... All right, what, what do you need? You need? I need two resistors, three bits of sheet metal, and a number nine wrench. I'll get that for you. Uh, if you can do that, man, pretty much a wasteland equipment-wise round here. <laughs> Why help uh, the mechanic? I mean, even if he seems all right, he's still an enemy. Yeah, true, but I think it could be useful for us uh, to get on his good side. He could give us equipment or serum. Yep. And serum in, serum in the game is uh, money. So, just so you know. And we have these little cutscenes, which do get a little annoying after a while. So, if you notice, there was another glowing pile, but there are people. This is the tutorial for combat. Trust me, I'm not that good at combat. She fun. I hope she's still wet, because I'm going to ride her hard. Yes, anything you hear him saying, it, it's implied exactly what he's saying, okay? You may be crazy. But even if you're too fucked up to know when uh. to open your mouth, we've decided we'll show you how to close it. Right. Time uh. to teach you some manners, darling. Live and learn. Uh. Yeah. So, hit, this is the first weapon you get. It sucks. If you hit... Okay, if you hit X, you can... Ah. So. Ah. Yeah, you kind of want to do that because the enemy will guard if they actually get a chance to. So. Now you do actually. Ah, son of a bitch. So, yeah. 
So you kinda wanna do like a... Uh, so... So if you see them attacking, you kinda wanna... Defend that, and then kinda like... Now, Innocence is going to get into the fight, and if you hit RT now, you can get some sand and kind of blind him. Oh, also, if you hit, uh, I think it's the R3 button. Yeah. Blinding him really is good. Especially, if you can corner him. So, we beat him up, and I'm pretty sure we can loot them now. Stop that right now, you worms! You looking to get roasted or what? Take these wrecks to the infirmary. Uh. They nearly got killed. Uh. So I'm pretty sure his guys are still lying on the ground. Always gets them excited. Some days I wish I was at the front. You. Uh. You could have killed them. You could have killed what do you them. think those bastards would have done to us if it had been uh. our faces buried in the sand? You gotta do what it takes. By the way, the name is Roy, and yours? My name's Innocence. Uh. Roy? Aren't you from Aurora? Okay, now they're actually gonna talk they about it. Temperance back then, but I chose Roy. Those virtue names? Not really my thing. Yeah, so... Oh, okay. I'll talk more about that once we get I guess this done. doesn't fit. All right. Well, yeah, let's go to the mess hall. We need to talk. We need to find a place where we can talk. Yeah, he'll ask like, "What hole are you okay. coming out?" He's like, right "He'll talk you. about what's going on." Blah blah blah. Oh yeah, I think I leveled up. Yep. So when you level up, if you go to your character, you get points and skills. If you can, if you can. You can choose a feat, like I can do Quick Learner, which gives me more, which I will want to get because that gives you more experience. Then you can keep upgrading it to, to like I said, this, where you have to defeat, but you have to defeat enemies to do it. This one requires more enemies. This one's searching. So some of these skills you do want to get, like this one, allows you to... Uh, Create new items. Same with this. Uh, yeah, basically what you want to do is always be searching enemies. Always be searching glowing spots. Because trust me, they will turn around and help you out in the long run. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot I had skill points too. So skill points come into three different skill trees. You have Renegade. You have Technomancy, which you can't do right now. And you have combat. Combat is as you think. Now every skill has three points that you can add to it. And if you go over here, you can do, you know, stealth. So first aid will basically, you know, increase your health and all that. You know, art of, you know, the blinding ability, which, you know. Ah. Uh, now eventually guys will actually like dodge that so what I kind of want to do is I do want to go into a few points of this I don't know if I want to do combat injections but I do want to go with some stealth and such which you know is like you know the attack you know stealth you know increasing my stealth abilities but the first thing I want to learn is I want to put two I want to put two points into this um, I do want to get the third one, and then I want to start building up this line. Once I finish this, I won't worry about the rest, because it's, you know, you have subtlety, which is, you know, arm attacks, have a chance of five, you know, stuff like that. I mean, it's not bad, but it's something I don't want to deal with with this, with this character. Basically, I want to go with stealth, because trust me, it's broken. Then, once I do that, I want to start going into the combat tree, and I want to start I think I want to make, I want to do that so I can get some more uh, skin, tough skin, or, and defend myself. I want to also get that, and 
I might want to get this too, but that's a different thing. Um, you know, I do want to get parry because, you know, parries are really good and stuff like that. So it's all about planning ahead on how you want to set up stuff. Uh, yeah, there is also a map, I think. It should show up. Hold on. Oh, that's stealth. So, all right, so now it's showing off the rest of the place, showing off the pet, yeah. That's kind of like a dog to them. Hey, Roy, uh, just wanted to tell you, everyone's hmm. talking about how you took out the fat guy. Uh. He was embarrassing oh, hey. the entire you. army. You hey, get take this. something free from this I guy. To thank you. Huh, thanks. Oh, hey, the new, uh, a new weapon. So, this is the first weapon in the game that will, if we go over here, the crack tube is much, much better than the improvised weapon. Well, but that's not the only reason. You can also upgrade it. Now, upgrading it can increase physical damage. You can do, you know, stuff like this, the handguard and all that. Now, you know, do like the anti-skid and all that. You do need a lot of materials to do some of these, so don't expect at the beginning to do this, but like I said, this is also why I'm... Oh, hey. Oh, that's one of the items I needed, so... Yeah, since it was one of the items I needed, it tells you. Oh. Oh, I need the... No. Okay, how do we get the map? I... Hmm. No. No. Put that put that away. Ah, oh, yeah. I forgot your character puts it away automatically. So, these are chests. Chests will contain a lot more items. So, always look for these to open. And, yeah. Basically. Uh, we can go to the... I don't think we actually can go there yet. Uh, eventually we will, so be prepared to watch out for that. Uh, let's see, I don't think there's anything else here, so I think we're good. So, where we want to go? Also, I might have to actually... Okay, I'm gonna have to... Okay, I know that. Know that, know that, know that, know that. Yeah, if you hit Y, that breaks their guard, and you can easily do an attack. Uh, rolling is a dodge roll. Count. Oh, right. If you block a, at a certain time, you can do counter attacks. Okay, is there a way to? Okay, quick eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick skill item. Inventory tactics. Oh yeah, I forgot there is a tactics menu. Uh, map display. Uh. Oh, well, I guess there is no way to bring up the physical map. Oh, you actually can. It's just, it won't, it'll just like hot, it'll kind of like illuminate. Okay, so that was a uh, one that you can just look. Also, if you attack, you probably will get killed by the guards. I'm pretty sure they're more powerful than you. So... Technically, where we're supposed to go is over here, there, but I don't want to do that right away. So, yeah, so there's more of that. I do want to get the uh, quest, finish the quest for the, uh, the handyman, because the rewards you get for it are really good before I do anything else. Also, you want to climb down here. Oh, anytime you climb down, too, it uh, automatically saves the game, so... There is that. Anyways, I got some more scrap metal. So, and we're gonna be on to our first fight. Uh, oh yeah, this is my other character. I'll delete that one. Just see, so we're gonna start new. Also, I only have so many slots, so what I'll probably do is do like three or four slots. Anyways, they're gonna be like, get out of here. Get out of here. Oh crap. Ah. Uh. 
There we go. Ah, I lost. Yeah, see how bad I am at at that. So, yeah, I'll be the first time you see me doing that. Yeah, you can't stealth on these guys. They will automatically, if you get too close, they'll get aggressive. Now, you want them to get aggressive, trust me. So, what we're going to do is we're going to throw sand in his eye. And I'm going to fight him. And we're going to... So this will drop... Oh, crap. Okay, so... Okay. Ugh. So... Okay, so there you go. That's second one down. And... Oh, yeah. Your party members can actually defeat enemies as well. So... There is that. Anyways, we're gonna search these three. Yep, searching enemies also gives you health. Or, not health, gives you items, so. They can actually contain a number of serum. They can contain serum. Also, I think. Okay, that was just money. Now, your health does regenerate, so if you're gonna be like, oh no, my health. Yeah, your health does regenerate, so. Yeah, now we have the next level of skills. Uh, now, I do want to get up to... Uh, so, I do want to get up to the, the assassin. So, basically, what I'm going to do now is just go up a straight line. And these will be the last things I get for this area, for this one. Now, if I wanted to... Also, I do want to get that. So, uh... It's either that or I want to get the apprentice. Actually, no, I think I want to get this one first. So, now you don't get more. Unless there is. Was there a skill that gave me more. More, uh. Points? Uh, it's probably in the next one. Uh. Yeah, you need a reputation level to get that one. Um. Okay, so the recycler one is also good. Uh. Huh. Well, I guess there isn't one for that. Oh, I'm probably thinking of the uh, second game. Yeah, there. I think I'm thinking the second game because there is something like that in that one. So, yeah, if you need to, you'll need to save up points because, like I say, it's gonna have you're gonna have to go through this. So, all right, and yeah. So, eventually, I'll start skipping those cut those little cutscenes. So. All right, so there's the last. There's almost the last we need. So there's something that's gonna happen down here. If we go and all right, all right, and then that dog goes, turns wild and or vicious and starts attacking. And yeah, human foes you want to block with. These guys you want to get behind them because they are impossible to. They are impossible. They do a lot of damage, and if you let them act, and their uh, fronts are incredibly armored, so you can't actually do anything. I never saw a dog attack like that before. Yeah, that's strange. Looks rabid. Hmm. So, now oh, it's talking about searching. Aw, wait, I can't search the dog? I thought I could. Oh, I can. So, most likely beast enemies you'll get a lot of uh, leather from. Anyways, Sorry. we speak to Bob. I attacked you, really? I don't understand. Uh. Usually the guy that takes care of them trains uh. them really well before letting them go. And by the way, I heard you kicked uh. ass of that fat guy and his gang. It's true. And to be uh. honest, he got off easy. You know? Even if my uh. comrades had to get involved, I really think most of them are glad you did what you did. I know that even with you people, hmm. this guy would have ended up in front of a firing squad. But here you're prisoners of war. Uh. Playing cop? Not your role, really. Even if that guy is a real bastard who should have never been in the army. Uh. If I understand right, you're happy, but you think you've got to preach to him. You know what? I know. Ah. Uh. 
Huh. None of you guys were gonna get involved and stop the fat guy. You can't stick a guard behind you. Theoretically, you shouldn't uh. have this kind of situation. Uh. Yeah, right. Let that fat. Yeah. Uh. No point playing tough with me. Uh, all right, we're going. Right. So, remember this guy for later. He kind of will be important. So, we're going to end the episode here. And in the next episode, we're going to continue running around and then we'll probably get started with the main story a little bit. So, this was RPG Night 1989. Signing off. Have a good day. Peace.